Right folks, look what we've got. This is the Energica SS9. Now this is their current model. There is a new model coming out and I have actually ridden that. I was over in Italy last week, believe it or not. Very, very lucky and privileged to be one of four people invited over to ride the new Ego and SS9 models down at the Misano circuit in San Marino. It was mega. And the English Electric Motor Company, link down below, have been very kind and lent me the current road version of the SS9. This is a little bit down on power compared with the new model, but essentially it's more or less the same bike. Sort the cameras out. Okay. And to get on, once you turn the key, you have to pull in the front brake, push the red button, and you wait for that go to come up. And that, folks, is literally it. And off we go. Now everyone goes on about how silent electric bikes are. These ones are actually, I think the Energicas are a little bit noisier than the Zeros. I've ridden the Zero, uh, is it DSR or DRS? I had that last year. I'm gonna have the SRF, the new one, for a while. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a problem with that one. So I've got this early. I love the look of this. This is more like a sort of, it's not cafe racer, but it's a, uh, I think this has got more of a sort of traditional style about it. I'll do the usual, I'll do a stop and a little montage for you in a bit. Assuming we get home. This is apparently a little bit more uh, thirsty on the juice than the Zero. So apparently you don't get the range. It's probably got more power, but you don't get the range that the Zero has. A normal sort of riding, the Zero will do you around about 80. 80 to 100 miles, depend on how energetic you are with the throttle. This, if you're caning it, you're going to get 55, 60 miles. You should get 80 if you take it easy. So we'll see, because my commute is about 40 miles each way. The massive plus with the Energica is that these things come with a 20 minute recharge time to 80% power. Yeah, you heard that right. 20 minutes this will charge from zero to 80 percent maximum capacity in 20 minutes now that is amazing and i've got this for the week so i will be testing that gonna be commuting during the week but um come the weekend certainly saturday i'm heading out A very very weird sensation being on an electric bike I love it you almost take people by surprise when you pull away because I think a lot of people don't actually realize there's no engine noise coming when you're sat at lights people just don't seem to take any note but the second you pull I do like London the second you um, pull away and people hear that sort of whine you do get some looks the bikers especially, hopefully I'll pick it up during the commutes and stuff, especially in the morning. Bikers will pull up at me on the lights and they're like, is that electric? And everyone's very intrigued as to what they're like. So, if you have not seen my previous vids on electric motorbikes, the Zero Motorcycles, I'll put a link up above check that out or even down below there'll be a link somewhere do have a look so this is literally just been delivered to us by Alec at the English Electric Motor Company very kindly drove into central London and dropped this off with me it's got 98% charge when I first left let's see what we've got at the end of one half of the commute. Obviously, we're going to stick to speed limits, and I will. Obviously. 
Oh, there she is. Be still my beating heart. Yes, mate, it is, yeah. How far? Uh, this one you get round about 70 miles to a charge. Okay. I thought I could hear it when I was behind there. Yeah. Yeah, very impressive. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, Cheers now. Oh, straight away, that handles. Just in that, I went for the clutch there to change up. Just in that corner, it handles loads better than the Zero. Now, the Zero is not a bad handling motorbike. It's really not. But it is not as confidence-inspiring in the corners. It always feels like the Zero wants to go straight on and not get in and go around the, the corner. It will. But this just seems to sink straight into the corner and just eats it up. I remember in, in Italy last week, it was amazing, up in the mountains. Just, it was a joy to ride, it really was. And it seems this one's exactly the same. All that big heavy weight, it's like 260, 270 kilograms. And it's all really nice and low because of the big massive battery. And it just seems to suck to the ground. Oh, mum's in. It's glorious for September, isn't it? God, it's that really weird time of year now. Some weeks it is bitter. Like in the mornings, it is cold. It's like four or five degrees in the morning when I'm coming into work. And yet here we are in the afternoon, it's like 20 odd degrees. You don't know what to put on. Bored, 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 bored. My turn. It just feels so stable, this. You almost feel like you could be stationary. Just sit still and not put your foot down. It just feels so balanced. Seat feels really nice and comfy. Foot pegs, I mean, I'm six foot three. They are fairly high up, but not uncomfortably high. Does that make any sense at all? So we're gonna keep going for the clutch. <laughs> Even though this isn't the first time I've ridden an electric bike, I keep going for the clutch. It's weird though, I'm not going for the gear lever with my left foot, but I'm constantly looking for the clutch. Especially when you start pulling up at lights and stuff, coming to a halt. Right, no clutch, no clutch, no clutch, no clutch, no clutch, no clutch. Yeah, there we go. There's no clutch. God, it seems quiet. Eerily quiet. I said the key word. Why would you stop at a red light? Why would you? Despite the fact that you have your own box junction at the front, your own set of traffic lights, your own road system, why would you stop at some red lights? It's everyone else's fault. But as with everything, it's not everybody, is it? Perfectly law abiding. My turn. Yes. Now, this is something I noticed when I took the Zero out last year, when I was commuting. It's really weird. Cars seem to notice you. I'll probably get wiped out now. But pedestrians, and cyclists, no, nah, they just step right out in front of you. Oh wow, drink that out. Off to the barracks. Yeah, cyclists and pedestrians, they just stand straight out in front of you all the time. But this is a lot noisier than, uh, than the Zero. So hopefully, unless they've got the stereos in, they should hear us coming. This is a lot noisier than the Zero. Screaming away. Bloody hell, it whines. I quite like that. <laughs> Look at me. You can tell this is Italian. And just imagine it's talking with its hands. <laughs> I better not say that, I'll get a horse's head in my bed. Sorry, Energica. over Lambeth Bridge, Lambeth Palace, beautiful. Oh, this handle's lovely, even in these little bends. Oh, I can't wait to get this out on some good roads. Bring on the weekend. Now, this is exciting. I'm going a different route tonight. Oh, who says life is boring? I'm going to go home through Camberwell and Peckham. If life isn't quite vibrant and colourful enough, we're going to see if we can get robbed. That's only a joke. That's the Camberwell and Peckham of old. It's a lovely place now. It's full of coffee shops and 
geezers with man buns called Quentin and Fahwa. There is absolutely nothing to worry about at the moment with the prospect of electric motorbikes. Nothing, folks. It feels like a bike, it rides like a bike, it looks like a bike. The only difference is there isn't that engine noise, but you get this noise, which is great fun. That's just addictive. But every ride becomes a little bit of a, a sort of mental challenge because you have to, you've got to balance this with the need to conserve some battery life at times. <laughs> so you're constantly looking at your range. And this, this, you can set the regeneration levels. I think there's four or five different regen levels on this, which effectively turns it from like a, like freewheeling where you're just pulling the clutch. So there's absolutely no resistance when you, when you ease off the throttle, the bike just coasts, keep ghosting at staying pace. And you can put it right through to like a, a thumping big V twin or something. So when you, you come off the gas, it's like you've just hammed on the anchors and that gives you maximum amount of regeneration. And you can really notice it at times if you're you know if you're knocking on and you just come off the power just keep doing that a few times you could see your percentage go up i've seen it on the zeros and i remember on these when we were out in, in italy last week did i mention that the regen really works and this is where i'll run out of power <laughs> fwrs best tire fitters in london check them out link down below fwr I think it's .co.uk You know what I was saying about the areas improved? <laughs> There's two police cars turn up on the blues Oh god, they've just gone to FWRs Oh god, yeah Oh, jeez Uh Honestly, it's it's not bad, folks. Can I go up the bus lane? I think I'm allowed up the bus lane. Again, why would you stop? Why would you bother stopping? And you, yeah. Oh, and you. Saying nothing, saying nothing. You go two miles over the speed limit, oh, they'll be on you. <laughs> You're not allowed an opinion. Shush. This is mega. This is such a nice ride, it really is. I'm almost forgetting it's electric. Isn't it weird when you're sat at the lights and it's just so cute? Wow. You almost want to whisper. You feel like you're spoiling the silence. Shh. Ooh, you're going to pull out, aren't you? Spec-wise, folks, I'll whack that up on the screen now. And these are currently going for this. Now, I know chatting with Energica last week, because I was in Italy, you know, have I mentioned that? Chatting with them last week, these bikes are fully, fully customizable. You can have them with Marchesemi wheels if you like, you can have them with full Olin's suspension. Literally, whatever you want, they will put on the bike. So they'll start at a base amount, which is just for you know your basic bike and basic component parts, and then you can spec that right up from the factory. From what I've ridden of the Zero bikes, and I love the Zero bikes, I was really impressed with them, and then taking these out. And with the added bonus that these have got that... Shh, I feel an idiot now. Shush. Shh, I'll tell you when we're moving. People will start looking. Shh. It's just a fat geezer on an electric bike, mate. Face the front. God. And with that recharge time of, of 20 minutes now for an 80 minute... After you, madam. With that recharge time of 20 minutes for 80% recharge, you know, this becomes a real viable, not just commuter, but but an actual toy that you can go out and, and just have an enjoyable ride on. I mean, who can't occupy themselves for 20 minutes? Have a cup of tea, have a cup of coffee, stop and have a chat, pop and have a pee, have a number two, whatever. Who knows, if you get 80% in 20 minutes, you could get a full recharge and then you're off again for another, what, 
60 to 80 miles. Why not? It's real tempting. I'm I'm tempted to try a, a sort of reasonable trip on one of these. With the zero, you're looking at an hour and a half for a for a full recharge. Well, and with them, you'll get 80 to 100 miles, depending how you ride. So I suppose you know if you limit yourself to a couple of hundred miles a day, either option is is viable, I suppose. But this this is actually a nicer ride. This. The Energica you will enjoy more in the twisties. Well, I would definitely enjoy it more in the twisties. It rides more to my style. The Energica family, if you're watching, I would um, I would very much like to try a trip on one of these. I wonder if you could take one around the world. What do you think, Energica? Are you up for it? Because I'm your man, I'll give it a go. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Now, there's all these rumours that uh, Charlie Borman and Ewan McGregor well, they're not even rumours, I don't think. I think it's been confirmed now. They are currently doing the long way up on electric Harleys, believe it or not. There's been some shots leaked on social media of uh, of the lads along the way. Now that, wow, that's a, a hell of a coup if that's the case. Good on them. But they're not going around the world. I will, Energica. Me, Teapot One. Oh, not quite got the steering lock there. No, it does. There we go. Peckham. This place has got some memories, I tell you. My mum was born and bred round Peckham, believe it or not. She met the old boy in Camberwell. In an office they both used to work at. And then after they got married, my dad ended up in the oil, and the oil started up in Scotland, up in the northeast, and then I came along. And the rest is histoire. I love the little twists and turns life takes you on. This is a very, very easy, easy ride. It really is. Commuting wise so far, no dramas whatsoever. And we are down to 90%. So we've used 8% and I've currently done, oh, I think it's about 9 miles. So we'll see what it's going to be like. I reckon the second we get onto the faster roads, it is going to eat the battery. Ah, thank you. Cheers, fellow electric man. A lot of the black cabs, in, well, all the black cabs in London now, all the new ones, are all electric. It's definitely the future, folks. I know there's an argument, and to be honest, I kind of agree. I, I'm not, I don't understand at the moment why hydrogen hasn't become the main thing because I'd have thought hydrogen was better for the environment all round basically you know the end product of, of a hydrogen engine is apart from a possible bomb is water so there must be a reason why all the money is going into electric rather than hydrogen so if you know let me know in the comments down below I'd be interested to know that just feel I feel so at, at home on this already I, I love it I actually really like this bike i think they're around the 20 grand mark though so that's pretty considerable investment the only thing that needs checking i think once a year it has to have a, a quick service which is about 40 50 quid the battery they still don't actually know what the terminal life is of the battery where are they all going so when I asked Zero last year, they were saying they reckon somewhere in the region of 450 to 500,000 cycles, I think it was. So, I mean, are you ever going to reach that? No, I very much doubt it. And show me one petrol engine on a motorcycle that would do four or 500,000 miles and not need any work done to it. And then don't forget to charge this up. You're looking at about two quid. Whereas, what's a tank of fuel now for a regular bike? That GT cost me 32 quid one day to fill up. Obviously, the fuel was mega expensive. Cobham services don't ever go there, the shell. But it was regularly around about 25 quid, and my GS is a good 25, 26 quid to fill up. 23 litre tank. Admittedly, that'll do a good 100 and 160 to 200 miles, depending how you ride it. But two quid for 60 to 80 miles, it's not bad, you know. You're going to make the savings. Ooh. This thing's got heated grips, I've just seen. 
Beautiful. You certainly do with the heated grips in the morning now. It's getting chilly. But I hope you are enjoying the vids at the moment, even if they are somewhat uh, sedate compared to the usual. That display is saying with 78% left, we've got a range of 47 miles. That's not great, really, is it? So we're going to have to carry the charging lead with me tomorrow. I've got a feeling I'll probably need that when I get to work. When I get to work. Remind me to take the charging lead. I hate being overtaken. Unfortunately, it's quite a regular occurrence these days. Ah, it's not too bad. It's not too windy, you know. That screen's not that bad. It's not great, but it's it's not bad. Probably on a par with the GT screen, I think. So you can see. Look, look at this display here, right? So the green shows that I'm using power from the battery. If I come totally off, see how that goes to blue? That means I'm on recharge, regen. And what these have at the back is uh, when you ease off the throttle and you're on regen, so you're coasting, the brake light actually pulses. It sort of flashes like this. And then obviously if you apply the brakes, it'll come on constantly. You can change your different modes by hitting this mode buttons on your left hand side here at the back. So below where the headlight flashes are, there is a little button at the back. So at the moment, you can see we're in sport mode, which is its highest performance, and we've got high regeneration set. Now I can go across and I can put that in medium. So now if I ease off the throttle, there's not as much regen as before. This has heated grips. It's even got cruise control. Yeah, it has cruise control. Now this model that I have, it's even got Brembo brakes, it's got Marty Semi suspension. This is a kitted out model. This is probably in your mid 20 odd grand bracket. As I said, if you're interested in trying one of these, head to the English Electric Motor Company website. I'll put a link on the screen down below and in the description. Check it out. Give them a follow on social media, especially Instagram. Tell them Teapot One sent you and they'll give you a special prize. That's lies by the way, I don't know if they will, they might, you never know, you might get a cup of tea if you turn up. In fact, you definitely will get a cup of tea, Alex a lovely fella. So with a quick little flurry at the end there, I am down to 46% presently. And I'll pretty much guarantee that will be 45% by the time we get home. Right folks, you know what this is, it's time for Montage! Right then folks, hope you have enjoyed this, the first ride of the Energica SS9 electric motorcycle. It's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. I've got it for a week, so as usual I'm going to be uh, commuting in and out on it. 
and come the weekend I'll be hitting some twisties so we should really get to grips with this and all its little foibles and I'm looking forward to it but for now I hope you've enjoyed this vid I've really enjoyed my little first taste of this it is a lot of fun huge thank you to all you subscribers old and new massive thanks to everyone on the patreon we've got the patreon only ride out coming up very soon check out patreon.com forward slash teapot one if you'd like to be involved or smash that link up above or down below right folks keep on doing what you're doing keep on keeping on look after those that you love but remember live your life Ooh. ah